It's the other show's top 10 hats! Number 10. The fedora is so cool. It's too bad it's worn by f***ing tools. The fedora! Created in the late 1800s, the fedora was popularized in the Prohibition era, worn by gangsters. The fedora became uber popular over the past few years, but it was made infamous when... hipsters started getting them. Plus, the fedoras are awesome song on YouTube kind of ruined them for everyone else. But still, it's the hat worn by Indiana Jones! Oh, and just to be clear, these are fedoras. These are trilbies. They're two different things, people! Number nine. Ah, the baseball cap. A staple of America's pastime. Hey! You get back over there, football! You are not America's favorite pastime! The baseball cap we know today was created in the 1860s in Brooklyn as part of the Brooklyn Excelsior's uniform. The baseball cap's design is simple and functional. It goes on top of the head to protect from sunstroke, and has a visor to keep the sun out of your eyes. Sure, some people wear it backwards to protect their necks from sunburn, and others wear it at an angle or sideways because they're dumb, but the baseball hat is here for another reason. It has so many different design possibilities! I mean, you can get a baseball cap for almost anything! Number 8. I wear a fez now! Fezzes are cool! There, I said it, Doctor Who fans, now BACK OFF! But in all seriousness, the fez was created in the 1820s when the new sultan of the Ottoman Empire, that means Turkey, wanted to modernize his military. He banned his civil officials from wearing turbans, and instead ordered them to wear these new hats, which were modeled after western hats. Fezes are pretty awesome though. In movies, they're either worn by those guys who drive the little cars, or by the guy that knows that keeping a mummy is a bad idea, but nobody listens to him. The fez is a good balance of goofy and classy. Number 7. A staple of the Old West, the 10-gallon hat. While it is unclear when this hat was created, the name itself was created in the 1920s. The most popular maker of this hat, of course, was the Stetson Company, who claimed that the weave was so tight it could hold water! This hat's function was to protect the cowboys from the hot sun and help them stay hydrated as they worked. But I'm putting this low on the list because there is no way that can hold 10 gallons! It is a liar! Number 6. What says European culture like having a doofy hat to protect Caucasian skin in the tropical regions? If you're noticing a theme about protecting the wearers from the sun, well, you'd be right. But the safari hat, also known as the pith helmet, is a symbol of an adventure. Arguably even more so than Indiana Jones's fedora. Later, the design would be adopted by police and even soldiers, but with the right coloring and without the spike on top, we still see that it is the great adventurer's hat seen in movies like Tarzan. Number 5. I dance, I dance, I dance, around my Mexican hat. I dance, I dance, I dance, and that's the end of that. The concept of the sombrero was actually created in the 13th century by the Mongols, but it was modified when it came to Mexico. It was adopted by a lot of Texan cowboys and eventually went on to be a symbol of Mexican culture and, frankly, they're just awesome! Number 4. The Propeller Cap. Whether worn by Calvin or Homestar Runner, this hat is a symbol of childhood innocence. In the 1940s, this hat was adopted as a symbol for fans of science fiction as self-mockery, referencing how fans of science fiction or things of that nature were seen as childish. Hmm, maybe I should get one. But these days, one of the more popular usages of it is for new employees of Google, who each wear one that says Noogle on it. Number three. The ultimate symbol of the high class, the top hat. By the end of the 18th century, these hats replaced tricorn hats as top dog. And it wasn't just the social elite that wore them, workmen started wearing them as well. And of course, we should not forget that Lincoln himself used to wear one to keep his notes in it. And while the hat has been adopted by the Freemasons and hipsters in recent years, there's still the benefit of getting one when you get a PhD in Finland. Plus, they throw in a free sword! I'm going to the wrong schools, I should be going to Finland. Number two... <laughs> the Wizard Hat. This ancient hat has been around since the Bronze Age, but these days it's typically seen as a wizard hat. Not to be confused with the witch hat with a brim but typically one color, a wizard hat gets to have stars and moons, like that scene in the Sorcerer's Apprentice short. 
Now, it's not perfect because some people seem to think that plain black pointed hats are okay for wizards. Cough, Harry Potter, cough! But when the design is done right, it is always on point. Number one. The Squid Hat. The Squid Hat was created by Nintendo in 2015 for GameStop employees to wear in promotion of the game Splatoon. The Squid Hat is simply the best. With these tentacles and the big doofy eyes that stare directly into your soul. The Squid Hat is love. The Squid Hat is life. The Squid Hat is our new ruler and master. All hail the Squid Hat.